as a technology company, what we want to try and do is um, help lots of kids around the country and lots of adults as well uh, understand more about coding and computers. Well, the activity we're going to do today with Microbit, we're actually going to completely turn it around and today in that room you're going to be the computer. So we've got a program already written and you are going to be the people that compute or we say execute that program. So we're here at Nominet doing an activity for children to learn about the insides of the computers. We, this is themed around the BBC Microbit. So the Microbit is primarily a programming tool. The children learn to write computer programs. Um, but they also learn about how computers interact with each other. If you get all of the instructions correctly, or, or you follow all the instructions correctly, you'll print out the number of this phone. And the reason we're racing is whichever team can get the number first, I will bring whatever number your computer generates. So that's my promise. I need you to, I need you to be really careful to make sure you're doing everything right. Really we basically acted out what a computer did. I quite liked it when we got to do lots of boards at once because it was going faster and you had more stuff going on. So each step of the process was a different group of people and so we got numbers on the board and then it went round and everybody did, did a different thing to them and in the end we came out with a phone. Understanding how coding and programming works will help children along the way regardless of what type of career they path they choose. The majority of the time, to children and to adults, it might look like computers are run by magic and our whole goal here in this activity is to demystify computing for them. By imitating a processor, they will have a chance to look under the hood of a computer and hopefully some of that mystery will be gone and they will be uh, inspired to be masters of computing.